in this video I want to show you how to add the pricing table so let's see you have a product and you wanted to add some you know a nice clean uh, responsive pricing tables on there so we're just gonna call this one just lift that at the basic for the admin we can put that at basic as well uh, for the price you can change the price there and lift that for 29 you can have per month and you want to put in the feature here feature feature one feature two feature three feature four uh, feature so you put one per line so feature five and then you can change the background color for this so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave this like that and just click buy now and then you can choose the the styling for this one but I'm looked at it the default you can choose the space in and you can link this to you know wherever you want it to link and then for the button style let's keep this one at the primary you can choose flat I like the, uh, the outlines and then the button size let's make this one at extra large and for the button icon let's put in a cart type in cart and drag the shopping cart and for the position left or right you can choose there you want it to be featured so we're not gonna make this one feature yet. and I'll show you how that feature part works so let's lift the content you can just put the content left right or center so let's put it at the right let's create uh, additional columns here so we have three and let's just copy this and drag it over copy and drag it over and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this middle one to be feature so let's change the price for this one from 29 to 99 uh, let's change the month to year and you can leave the same features or you can put something else there and if you want this one to have a sound background color you can do that but since we're, we're going to be featuring this we don't have to do that yet so let's go over uh, to the part that ask about being featured we click on yes what this is going to do is it's going to give this particular uh, column a certain look so let's click on apply and let's go over here to the pricing table number three we can make this one 299 and then we can make this one per year and then you want to change the background color let's let's experiment here. let's change the background color to a dark uh, put this one to the text to be white the color white and then the button text it can be something like order now and then for the button you want to change this one to success and let's come back on this one we want to change this one button we can change this one to let's change this to warning okay apply and then click on save so when you preview it on the front end you see you have a, a nice uh, chart here nice little pricing table and you can change the background color for the these two as well um, if you wanted to if you wanted to add a little bit more but so you leave this now and this one is highlighted because it's the featured one so if you were to change let's say I change this one uh, and I'll make it featured it's gonna have the same color so if you want all three of these to have the same color then you do that or if you want you know variations then you choose uh, which one that you want and then you should put your mouse over so it gives you a lot of flexibility and you can put the text on the left the center or the right so you have a lot of flexibility to create a nice simple but yet basic and responsive uh, pricing table